Um, it's, it's interesting. Uh, so Jung's political writings, a lot of times, although he talks about democracy, were, were uh, writings after World War II. So he was very interested in the dictatorial state and what he called mass mindedness. Mm -hmm. So basically communism, socialism, uh, fascism, any sort of the, <laughs> you know, the 20th century yeah. isms, mm -hmm. um, political isms. And so, it, so when he, when he writes this, it's in response to that, but his idea of kind of the solution to it was on one hand religion, but we'll get into that <laughs> some other time. This is a big topic. But the other was, um, he said, Christian love. Mm. He said, you know, what we need something sort of like the love of neighbor, the Christian love of neighbor to, mm -hmm. to bond us together. Right. Because he said, you know, basically nothing hurts our relationship with fellow human beings more than projections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Then projecting all these, but nothing promotes more understanding by our withdrawal right. projections. Because yep. projections are the source of moral complacency, he says, and divisiveness. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Of, of, I, um, he has this idea, it's like, you know, nature abhors a vacuum. Mm -hmm. So your mind and imagination abhors a vacuum. So mm -hmm. if you don't know something, your imagination will fill it in. Yeah, that's right. interesting. Yeah. Um, again, you talk about you're out in the middle of the woods and you hear a scream. Yeah. It's like, your imagination immediately fills in what that could be. Yeah, you don't <laughs> yeah. go to just, that was just a scream. Right, yeah, <laughs> right. It's like, on. oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, look at that sound. Yeah, you, you put a narrative on. over it. Right, yeah. you immediately, yeah. there's an image associated mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. So I, whether politicians know this or not, or social media, I'm sure social media knows a little bit better, but it's, it seems like they're really kind of tapping into that, mm. um, especially now with kind of this growing divide of do you have any friends that are opposite to you mm -hmm. politically and, you know, usually talked about this before the answer is no it's like so if you don't know these people then your your imagination can be filled in yep with anything about them yeah you know again this yeah. this mm -hmm. republicans are a threat to democracy mm -hmm. or democrats are a threat to democracy yeah you can kind of fill that in with paranoia and fear and anger um right and anything else you know i, I yeah. think it's a big you know we're a big nation so it's a big task to say like oh we'll just like go out and get a bunch of Democrat friends or a bunch of yeah, Republican meet friends. Yeah, from Montana. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. You know, like, yeah, exactly. Like, meet somebody from New York City, yeah. you know, <laughs> even though you're from, you know, Alabama yeah. and share your yeah. political differences. Um, so, but I think it goes back to what can you do? Yeah. And right. what you can do is not always, yeah, not always interpret people's actions as uncharitable as possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. <laughs> Right. But, yeah. That go really, I mean, that's like asking fundamental questions because it's like, why is it that that kind of self correcting um, and then like giving the benefit of the doubt works between me and my wife? Because there's love between us. So it's like, you, yeah. it doesn't necessarily always happen that when you stack that up to society, it's like, there, it's not a given that we're supposed to continue to love as we go up. Yeah. So it's like, there is a fundamental, like, well, you do need some sort of framework that says people should be treated with respect and each individual is sacred in the eyes of some higher power. Then you can start to stack up and then go to society. It's like, well, how is it? How am I supposed to respond to somebody across the country that thinks completely different from me? Like, why would I not just circle in mm -hmm. and say that they're other or project my stuff on them? It's because I should love them with Christian love, like you were saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, isn't that isn't that what John Verveke calls like the hermeneutics of suspicion versus hermeneutics of beauty? Right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of like instead of uh, like, and this is like fundamental for discourse. Mm -hmm. Instead of approaching somebody, um, thinking that you have the moral high ground and you are right, mm -hmm. and everything that they are going to bring to the table is now is under suspicion. Yep. Um, there should be this aspect of, I guess, like as Jung says, and like mm -hmm. this Christian love, this right. idea that, like, this person has their own worldview. Yep. And, and like, and this is one of Peterson's first twelve, 12 rules: is like, always assume that the person you're talking to has something to teach you. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yep. I think if you have these fundamentals of like Verveke's hermeneutics, hermeneutics, I can't say the word of beauty, mm -hmm. um, uh, like believing that like you can learn there's still mm -hmm. um things to learn um right. you know socrates all i know is that i know nothing like mm -hmm. you know take the humble yep. um, position not trying to win a debate but rather actually get at truth mm -hmm. that's the like fundamentals of discourse right and 
it just like in the public eye right now um, on social media on the news, it just seems like we've lost that because everything is engineered to divide. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like, I think we could do that on an individual level. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But again, like, just going all the way back to the beginning, if we can do that on an individual level, hopefully that can start to make changes in you know not your family but like your neighborhood, or your society, right. and, mm -hmm. and it gets it gets bigger. Yeah. So, um, but if we can learn how to do that on an individual level. Mm -hmm. um, that's how we can begin to see real change in discourse. Right. So. It also doesn't, like, you know, we were saying before, too, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like, oh, well, just take everybody's opinion and just it's all equal. Like, you no, can right, still have your beliefs on what you think, yes, but that doesn't course. mean that, like, when you enter into dialogue, there is this, like, let me hear what you have to say. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then you kind of compare that and you have discussion and there's debate and you change your mind and they change their minds. Like, you have to start from that premise of, like, let's take it in first and then yeah. look at it. Yep. Yeah. No, yeah, I think uh, I think it's it's certainly very hard to see like a, a true self image, you know, like the, mm -hmm. a true picture of yourself, and to what degree am I taking the things that I'm insecure about or the things that I secretly harbor or repress, and I'm putting it onto other people. Mm -hmm. You know, I see right now just some conservative people on uh, conservative uh, podcasters and such on Twitter saying. That, you know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable that the message of, you know, we'll let you kill your children caught on so big, at the, yeah. you know, this midterm. And it's like, well, I'm sure abortion was a big issue for some people who voted Democrat. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't know if it was, it, it could also just be that there were bad candidates yeah. on the right. Right. Yeah. You know, like it, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's I, I feel like that kind of summarizes like the, a uh, little bit of this. This lack of introspection is right. like, oh, it, it, it's it got to be abortion. Like, yeah. Right, right. Maybe. Or right. maybe you just had a bad, yeah. like I said, bad right. candidate. You made a bad case. Yep. Um, and then what's the solution yeah. to that? You're just going to continue to rail that the left loves abortion? Right. Or are you going to like look at yourself and make improvements as you can as a potential candidate or what have you or as a party? And be like, let's just make our message as strong and coherent as possible yeah, and, yeah, right. and understandable. Like, that's the best right. you can do, and that's the only thing you can do. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly.